Welcome back, Future Medicos. One of the subscribers has asked this question. Sir, I am from Jammu and Kashmir. How can I register for Kerala and Karnataka MBBS admission? Now, before answering this question, before understanding where to apply, how to apply, when to apply, let's understand certain basic things regarding MBBS admission. Now, when it comes to MBBS admission, you need to first ask the question, what kind of college are you interested in joining? There are four kinds of colleges typically you will come across depending on the state which you are interested. You will have government medical colleges. You will have private self-financing medical colleges. You will have private universities which are coming under the state government act. And then finally, we also have deemed universities. Government medical colleges, private self-financing medical colleges, private universities and deemed universities. Depending on which medical college are you interested, then you need to decide where to apply. If you are interested in a government medical college in Kerala or if you are interested in a government medical college in Karnataka and if you are not from Kerala or Karnataka, you are a non-Keralite or you are a non-Karnataka student, then your only way to join a government medical college in Kerala or Karnataka or any other state uh, to which you do not belong to, you have to register only through the All India Counseling. So government medical colleges in Kerala and Karnataka for a Jammu and Kashmir student, you can get it only through MCC All India Counseling. So if you are interested in a government medical college, register with MCC. Now when MCC registration will open, MCC registration will open after the NEET results. So there is no urgency right now. You can wait until the NEET exam is over and the results are published. Then MCC will release the notification. So if you are interested in a government medical college in Kerala and Karnataka, you have to register with MCC. Now the second category, deemed universities. Say for example, KMC Manipal, KMC Mangalore, Amrita Kochi. So these kind of deemed universities in Kerala or Karnataka, if you are interested, then once again, you need to register with MCC, that is Medical Counseling Committee. And MCC will conduct the counseling for the deemed universities also. Both government medical colleges and deemed universities can be covered in a single registration with MCC. Now coming to the third category, which is private self-financing medical colleges. Take for example, Jubilee Mission Medical College in Kerala or maybe St. John's Medical College in Bangalore. If you are interested in these kind of medical colleges that are affiliated to the state government medical university, then you need to register with the respective state government counseling authority. If you are interested in Jubilee Mission Medical College, you need to register with Kerala State Counseling Authority. If you are interested in St. John's Medical College, Bangalore, you need to register with the Karnataka State Counseling Authority. If you are interested in both, you need to register at two places. I will show you where to register, what is the website address for Kerala and Karnataka, I will show you subsequently. But let's understand, if you are interested in private medical colleges of Kerala or Karnataka, you should register with the respective state government authority. Similarly, Karnataka have a fourth category called private universities. Kerala right now do not have any private universities. Whereas Karnataka have a category called private universities. For example, MS Ramaya Medical College is a private university. So there are about nine private universities in Karnataka. And if you are interested in getting a seat under this private university, then once again, you need to register with Karnataka State Counseling Authority. And when Kerala and Karnataka open registration, if you look at the last couple of years, these two states uh, open registration even before the NEET exam. Generally, I have seen they open registration around February, March. So keep a watch on these two websites and uh, register for both Kerala and Karnataka if you are interested. They do open the registration again after NEET results, but my recommendation to register before the NEET exam so that you don't get into kind of stress later on because Later on, we are not very sure whether they will open or not. Normally, they open, but they always keep us on our toes. We are always anxious. Uh, we don't know when they will open. Sometimes they give only one or two days. Like Karnataka, 
the registration process is a little bit clumsy their uh, website server is always something that is not dependable so when they give only one or two days after neat results in case if you face any problem you may not have any time to resolve that issue and register so my recommendation try to do it once they open the registration sometimes in february or march so keep a watch about it so to summarize there are four different colleges government medical colleges and deemed universities you need to register at mcc website for private medical colleges you need to register with the respective state government and then for private universities also you need to register with the respective state government authority now i will show you the website where you need to register or where you need to keep track of when the application opens for these different sites first let's look at the all india counseling website that is mcc so you go to mcc.nic.in this is the website and once you come here on the top navigation tab look for ug medical and this is the website you will be using to do registration for all india counseling currently if you are interested you can go to this website and look for the information related to 2024 you can download the 2024 prospectus you can download the schedule you can download the results and get familiar with the uh, counseling process it will be very helpful so this is the website if you are interested in uh, the all india counseling of course don't worry about new registration this will remain always new registration so wait for 2025 of course that will happen only after the neat results are published they normally don't start before the neat results so this is for all india counseling so if you are interested in a government medical college of other states or deemed universities then you need to register in this particular website about kerala for kerala you need to go to cee.kerala.gov.in cee.kerala.gov.in which stands for office of the commissioner for entrance examinations kerala right cee stands for commissioner for entrance examinations uh, generally this website will open in malayalam if you go to the top right hand corner you will find an option to change the language choose your language change it to english right this is the main website of course you could see here under ug admission keeam 2024 which is candidate portal for the ug admission so click here now this is the website for ug admissions 2024 you could see that the website cee.kerala.gov.in/keem 2024 so once again if you are interested to know the information related to kerala you can come here and look at all the information everything will be available here including the prospectus right so this is the prospectus for 2024 so this will help you to understand the registration process you can look at the various notifications you can look at the uh, allotment list you can look at the rank list so all the information related to 2024 is still available so you can look at it and then subsequently when 2025 registration starts probably they will have another website with maybe like keem 2025 so at that time please check to register with kerala now let's look at the karnataka karnataka website is cetonline.karnataka.gov.in so i'm going to that website okay click here to visit kea website okay so cetonline.karnataka.gov.in/kea is the website and once again this will be in the local kannada language you go to the top right hand corner and then change the language to english of course if you know kannada that's okay otherwise change it to english and you could see that previous year admissions you could see that ug neet 2024 so if you click ug neet 2024 you can find all the information related to 2024 all the information all the links are available here so you can look at everything that has happened from day 1 until the completion of the admission so all the information is available here on the kea website now once again you need to wait for karnataka to open the registration for mbbs for 2025 so look for this admissions um, link sometimes the registration may come under ugcet so keep a look out for ugcet 2025 notifications also uh, right now they have not given any uh, clear notification related to mbbs registration but keep a watch 
uh, either it could be part of UGCET, uh, which they did last year, or it could be uh, something uh, different um, from CET. So we need to keep a watch. So those are the information I wanted to share about Kerala and Karnataka. If you still have any questions, please leave your queries in the comments below. Thank you. Bye-bye.